The Palestinian Hamas group in Gaza has blamed Israel and, and threatened retaliation for the killing of a Tunisian national it claims was one of its drone experts. Mohamed Zawari was gunned down near the city of Sfax. Zawari had been a member of the Hamas group for 10 years and had been supervising Hamas's drone program. The Tunisian Interior Ministry said Zawari was killed in his car by multiple gunshots in front of his house. Four rental cars were used in the killing and two handguns and silencers were seized. A Tunisian the nationals had been arrested in connection with that killing. Hamas, which rules the Gaza Strip, did not offer any evidence to support its accusation. As reported earlier, the Palestinian Hamas group in Gaza has blamed Israel and threatened retaliation for the killing of a Tunisian national it claims was one of its drone experts. Let's discuss this development in Tunisia and the region with CCTV's Youssef Gage, who now joins us live from Tunis. Youssef, let's begin with the situation in Libya and that announcement of the end of the anti-ISIL operations there. How is that being viewed in Tunisia, especially considering past fears that some of the militants escaping from Libya could find the way into Tunisia. Indeed, uh, authorities here are uh, quite uh, skeptical whether this uh, is an end uh, to the battle against ISIL. Um, t Tunisian authorities here know that uh, there is a higher risk now that ISIL fighters were kicked out of Sir that uh, they may try to find refuge somewhere else, whether in, uh, in the southern uh, part of Libya or neighboring countries, including Tunisia. Considering Tunisia has a long stretch of border with Libya, Libya, uh, uh, there is a possibility that some of these fighters will attempt to come into the country. And uh, also, Tunisian authorities know very well that uh, uh, this battle uh, against ISIL is not over yet. And uh, uh, also, the uncertainty uh, with regards to the, the security situation in Libya uh, is not over yet. Therefore, uh, here, authorities are trying to prepare themselves as much as possible uh, to uh, keep the conflict out of the Tunisian territories by uh, safeguarding the border and investing in uh, securing uh, the, the, the Tunisian border with Libya. Also, Tunisia, Tunisia is conducting uh, uh, operations with uh, American military to uh, try to uh, uh, control and monitor the movements of these people using drones uh, departing from a, basis, uh, from a base here in Tunis. What has been the reaction from Tunisian authorities on the claims by Hamas that Israel was behind the killing of one of Hamas's drone experts gunned down in Tunisia? So far, uh, official authorities uh, have not spoken yet about uh, the assassination and what exactly happened. Uh, they are arresting people. Uh, they arrested about eight people, including a journalist who actually uh, flew out of the country uh, to Hungary and came back uh, after the authorities insisted that it is better for her to come and uh, provide the, any information that she has. The journalist is one of the last persons to see uh, as wary and to interview him. Um, authorities here are really refraining uh, from uh, saying who is behind the killing and are asking media not to speculate around what happened, but uh, the population here is outraged by the idea and the possibility that Israel and uh, the Mossad was behind this killing. All right, Joseph Gaethje in Tunis, thank you for joining us.